How's it going, everybody? Silent E, TCG here. We're back again with a deck profile on a deck I've been currently using since the release of OPO7. Um, of course, got some new cards to add in onto it and make things work out. Not much, but you know, um, I'm, I put it all together and it's been it's been working out pretty well. It's nice and fun. But we are on good old red purple Luffy from the uh, Three Captains starter deck. Uh, still. One of my favorite leader, uh, leaders to use and try out. Got a lot of ton of new red and purple cards for sure. So, you know, I said, why not? Let's just bring him back out, bring him back out and try to see how it works. So, <clears throat> y'all let me know what y'all think and leave it down in the comments down below. Uh, subscribe, like the video, and comment, please. Uh, we got four Nami searching for the deck. Uh, mainly all your straw hats and whatnot. So, the whole deck <clears throat> is that. Um, two Jimbe, just I just wanted a hollow 2k, but just a 2k. That's really it. Uh, the four Zoro. Um, if you go, I, I usually go first because I can just play this. Pretty sure he won't be KO'd quickly that quick, but maybe it can happen. But, um, just gives you an extra ramp since you're already at, inherently at three life. You can just get the free active dawn on attack. <clears throat> um, four Battles of Hawking. You can run Mr. Two. Bone clay, but I I don't I don't have four, so I, I was just gonna stick with the basil hawking because even from trigger, get there get that rest of dawn will help out tremendously. Just curves you better to get to your uh, eight, the ten, the, you know nine, ten dawn turn. Same with John Bart, just two of them um, gets you that your dawn. You I'm going first will be at five, so you just play this and you'll be at uh, you know six <coughs> or seven or yeah. Six really, but um, then next turn eight, and then leader ability be at nine. You know, get get it rolling from there. Uh, just for Frankie, just the two K, as well as X Drake, and then the two K. And usually you, you do want to burn it on because you're just sitting on ten usually. So you just minus one. They discard and lead, leader ability get it back anyway. You know, just to play around with it. <laughs> um, three Sanji, just the vanilla beater. Um. In case you just bring him out there so you'll have some sort of attacker other than your leader doing the hits <laughs> but we are running the new card another 2k but a sanji the blocker um you'll never play him for cheap um i don't run the 10 drop luffy that's the only way you kind of would have less dawn but i don't use the that luffy here so but he's just a good 2k and you know searcher from off on me and you know blocker if you have to um, two kid, uh, I might go to three, but I don't want to clog the deck too much with non counters. But two is fine. Um, he can he can stick around for a couple turns. Works real well with the leader and <clears throat> other cards. But um, like I said, I might go three. Uh, two may not be enough. <laughs> Usually, want to see him on curve every time, you know, if possible. I am running three dragon. That's all I would use. Um, just a great rush card. Eight cost nine k. Give the two dawn to Luffy or even Dragon if you need to, but you know there's that. Or you have the White Beard, which you uh, play. I play three of two eight eight K leader. Definitely want that. And then if he's on the if he survives, play the Dragon and give him the two counter anyway, and blow stuff up and attack with both and whatnot. Also, I'm running four Shanks. Uh, definitely a great card to clear board problematic cards. Since uh, you can you erase the tend on quickly, you can easily out a lot of bodies that would stick around. Rob Lucci, uh, Kid, Dofamingo, um, Gecko, um, Boa, you know. Nothing, anything, nothing is 12k, unfortunately, and I don't have any reduction. But anything less than that is capable, if possible. <laughs> so, you know, Isho, whatever you need to do. Uh, four Red Beam. Just because you're a three life leader, so you'll for sure want to have that in there to, to survive. One Diablo John Base, since you are a straw hat car, a straw hat character a leader, you got a bunch of straw hat characters. You know, unblockable is really good with a meta with blockers. And since you're at six, you can easily, you know, give him unblockable and then the nine dawn, he'll be at 15. Not many people can counter out of that. And then rounding off, just two Jack Gatling, just because I do have a lot of bricks. Which it can turn into a 3k at least. You know, I'm better than nothing. <laughs> or trigger Rampadon active. So that you can't, can't go wrong with that either. 
other than that like i said deck was definitely fun phenomenal i like it a lot and i'm pretty sure we'll see more of them even in opio 8 once we get that in the, in the runs but that's it for now y'all please let me know what y'all think about it leave it down in the comments below and as always like the video uh, subscribe to the channel It'd be greatly appreciated and I'm trying to reach my uh, reach my goal and you know try and keep climbing but i'll have more deck profiles coming soon so as always i'll see y'all next time take care peace out and thank y'all again for watching